Well, those freezing temperatures have made spending time outdoors quite dangerous. Medical experts are already seeing the impacts. Five on your side, Elise Shonen joins us now at 10. Elise, you checked in with Barnes Jewish Hospital. Yeah, that's right, Brent. And conditions like these, of course, we all want to bundle up at home inside, but it's not easy or possible for some to do that. It's what makes jobs of people like first responders twice as hard. This weather really makes things uh, a lot busier. Barnes Jewish Chief of EMS Division David Tan is talking about the most recent blast of winter weather. At these temperatures, it, it doesn't take very long at all, just a few minutes before even superficial frostbite can begin. He says Barnes Jewish's ER is reflecting post snow and extreme cold. What we're seeing a lot of now is slip and fall type injuries, as well as injuries related to the cold itself. While staying indoors is the best option, Tan shared a few tips for those who must go outside. Probably less important is the is the bulky type clothing and more important is the layering of clothing. He says hydration is another necessity most don't think about this time of year. Even when it's cold, uh, staying well hydrated will help your body maintain a normal body temperature. But before even reaching patients, Tan says first responders have extra steps to take too. That includes keeping the ambulance as warm as possible, having warm blankets as, as much as possible, and even pre-planning your route sometimes from the point of illness or injury to the ambulance itself. So he's reminding everyone that first responders must protect their own practices and crews in these conditions too. Tan also says that we can all help them out during these conditions. If you see an ambulance or any form of emergency response on the road, he says to please slow down and move over.